I think it's a great initiative. Uh, it is necessary for our country to grow. There are two ways to drive Make in India. One is to have Make in India for all goods and products that are used within India for domestic consumption. And then looking at Make in India for export. I think the China model of the last 20 years of primarily driving manufacturing for export is something that India should strongly consider before replicating. Also, the opportunity for the global economy may not be the way it has been for China. We have a large market ourselves to drive Make in India of goods and products to be consumed within India. I think that is much more sustainable and that's what China is also moving towards right now. It will also then allow us to do the right kind of manufacturing rather than getting anything and everything that may come to India for manufacturing. When you look at the reform process of the government, it's, uh, it's clear that GST could have a much larger lift into the economy than what is perceived out of it. Uh, over a period of time, it will truly make India as one integrated market, so it's amongst the biggest reforms that the government can put through. In addition to that, the, the additional reforms that can truly spur the economy is clarity around the tax laws uh, and, and having consistency around it. Even though the, Indian, the new Indian government has taken initiatives in making it better, but there have been counter moves at the same time which, uh, which question the confidence that the global uh, companies may have uh, around India's tax regime. And finally, uh, around infrastructure development, all the supporting laws that are required for infrastructure development need to be taken, uh, taken a look at. I think one of the key regions to watch out for is the ASEAN region. All the countries within the ASEAN region are doing a lot of things which may be faster than what India may get to. And given their proximity to China and the, the ability to see some of those investments moving there uh, could actually be a strong competition. So broadly looking at ASEAN region and not one country in, in specific there, it's all the countries there, uh, they, they form collectively an economy which is very similar to the size of India uh, and uh, at a growth rate also which is very similar uh, to the Indian growth rate. So, so I would look at ASEAN total rather than a single country.